Okay, so I told you guys that I would pick up a pack of the Guggen Baits and I would, I guess, kind of review it, talk about it, give you my opinion and tell you what I think, but I went on the Guggen Baits website and I picked up a pack of the Kraken Craws in the natural color. I also picked up a pack of the, well, I ordered a pack of the Bandito Buds and the Trench Hog, okay? Uh, I haven't got those yet. A little bit of a story before we get into the baits is um, I've had people ask me, do I know who the Googans are? Yes, I do. Uh, you have Rob, John, Justin, Alex Perrick, Andrew Flair. Uh, I know who they are. I've seen their videos. And I've heard a lot of people say that the baits are copies of Strike King. They suck. Then I've seen a lot of people say that the baits are amazing. And then I told you guys that I could not have an opinion without reviewing it, looking at the bait, the packaging, and fishing with it. So that is what we are going to do today. Okay, so before we open the package and actually look at the bait, you're going to see that it says Open, Sniff, Catch. It has the Guggen Baits website and it does say Pure Passion and this is the natural color, okay? But anyway, you look on the back, it says just add water, you have the crack and crawl with the slaunch sauce. It tells you that you have the raised ridge for action, you have the pinchers, the restless legs, it's stuffed with salt, of course. You have the tail for action, it's a four inch crawl and a versatile design. So, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that I do like the packaging, I do like the design. You know, the Googans do get some hate, but I have to be honest, I think their packaging was a knock out of the park. It's very good. So right as you open it, you're going to notice that this casing over the baits is very well constructed like any other plastic. Take your craw out. It feels like quality plastic. I think it has a good design. And let's break open these right here. Do I think it's going to catch fish because bass love plastics? Yes, I do. It actually kind of smells like the Masile baits. I have noticed that. Let's flip that bait over. and get... Does it look like a natural craw to me? Yes, it does. Guggen baits, rage craw. I am going to take a Guggen bait and I'm going to lay it next to a rage craw. Because you'll hear people say that, oh, it's a copy of the rage craw. And I know that in the one video, Rob talked about how they have a patent from a company and he compared all the baits you know, he laid the trench hog next to the brush hog, the missile baits next to the whatever, the rage craw next to the... Now, does the tail look similar? Yes, the tail does look similar, okay? But, you will see on the rage craw, look, it's kind of smooth. On the Guggen bait, there is an obvious pattern there. You're going to notice that the Guggen bait does not have the insert slot for the hook, okay? The overall shape of the craw is different. The Guggen bait has these little side appendages. The Rage Craw does not. They both have the pieces at the bottom underneath the body. Like I said, he did say that they do have the same patent. To give you guys an honest opinion, I'm gonna have to go and I can tell you just by putting the hook into the bait that it's very good plastic. It's soft. It's not too stiff. Uh, broke open the appendages. How does it look in the water? Oh my God. Well, let's see how it looks. Let a bass tell me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, decent. Double header on the Guggen bait, no way. Just like I thought. Guggen baits work. I knew they would. Guggen baits, crack and craw. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we are rescuing someone's boat. Yep. Never a dull moment. No, it's never a dull moment when you and I fish together. You got it? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. 
Yes. They did. We got the police. I'll hand them over there. there you go. Yep. I just want to make sure uh, you gave these guys permission to fish on the lake. <laughs> okay. We don't do it. <laughs> no, they're <quick> no. sober. <laughs> All no. Right. Yeah, you're welcome. Right, yeah, if he says it's okay for you to park in his spot, yeah. So, of course, the police show up, and it's got to be right in the middle of a Guggen Bait video, and they say, hey, do you guys have permission to be here? Yes, we do. We went and we talked to him. We're good to go, but get out another another crack and craw. You know what else is gonna be disgusting? This big bass that I'm gonna catch with this Guggen bait right here. That's a bite. I had a bite. I'm definitely gonna go over here before we take off. Park on this weed edge, and I want to frog a little bit. You called it. She probably left the camera roll on that. Yes, Guggen baits work. Nothing huge, but are you on? That is the second Guggen bait double up. Cast it up in there, twerked it about two, three, four times. And you what? You twerked it? Twerked it. Worked it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, not bad. Look at there. Go. Not a giant, not a big one, but healthy. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Ah. How does the bait feel in the water? Not bad. Uh, comes through the water pretty good. I can feel it flapping a little bit. Oh, dude, hold on. That looks so badass, dude. I just had to say that. So now we are here with Matt Goes Fishing and Matt is going to tell us what he thinks of the Guggen baits. And I wish, I wish I could ask the Joker. All right guys, Matt Goes Fishing here. I'm here um, with the Guggen baits, the crack and crawl, open sniff catch. Okay, it's open sniff. I'm not gonna be able to catch it yet because I don't have any of these. But I'll definitely open it and sniff it. Like uh, like I said, yeah, this is the crack and crawl. Um, scents, obviously the scent is pretty strong, I'm not going to lie. Good scent to them um, for a bait. Kind of smells like the, the missile bait scents. Um, initially, I'm going to break this appendage right here. I'm going to break this appendage right here. Yeah, it looks like a craw bait. Um, I like the color. What color is this? Um, natural. Yeah, it definitely looks really, really nice. Um, it looks very similar to the Strike King Rage Crawl. Definitely not the exact same bait. It does have, they really do have some, some differences. Especially like these little ridges right here. It's different. Feels good. Feels durable. Feels like it's going to hold up. Okay, so I have a question for you. Okay. Even, even though you have not fished it, you haven't caught a fish on it, blah, blah, blah. Would you buy these baits or consider to buy these baits? Um, honestly, yeah, I would. I would buy them. I would definitely try them out. That last Guggen bait, that's yours. Because these, these, oh. these are a hot item. They're hard to get. Yes, I did hear about them, man, definitely. Matt goes fishing and AR casting. Everyone, be safe. Stay humble. Keep casting. We'll see you next time. They do this for a living. This is how they make their money. This is how they put food on the table. Um, they all started like we all did, with no subscribers, small channels, 
They've been doing it for years. So in, in my you know personal opinion, before a person knocks the Guggens or their baits, you have to remember that this is their job, okay? Just like I have a job, just like you have a job. We do this, or whatever, whatever it is, we do this, you know, to, to live, to support ourselves, to feed our families. Would I buy more of the Kraken Craws, the Bandito Bug, the Trench Hog, the Mondo Worm, the Slim Shake, or the Dragon Drop? Yes, I would.